fantasy football fans, it's me, the fantasy football girl, coming at you with another edition of Vlog Times. I'm actually going to go ahead and vlog one for the money, two for the show, and three to let go this week, so I hope you don't mind. Let's get right to it. My money for the week is Ryan Fitzpatrick. Now, I want to be very clear and say that he is not my start of the week. I actually think the Bears defense, um, especially coming off a of bye, and feel free to call me a homer for this one, will take care of him handily. But I do think he is your fantasy quarterback for the long haul. Now, why am I mentioning this now as opposed to weeks ago when he took over for Trent Edwards, who was traded to the Jaguars and did surprisingly well? Well, because last week he had a game against Kansas City where his stats took a drop. Now, I don't know who expected him to repeat the game against Baltimore, which was otherworldly, but he didn't. Kansas City did, you know, certainly, I think they sacked him a couple of times, um, and he didn't have a monster game. He was 24-48, 223 receiving yards, 43 rushing yards, and one touchdown. Um, however, he is still averaging more fantasy points non-PPR per week than Drew Brees or Aaron Rodgers, who also didn't have a great week on Sunday, a great game on Sunday. So while I don't think he is, you know, an every week must start Peyton Manning style stud, he certainly deserves a roster spot and he's only owned in 53% of Yahoo leagues. That's crazy. Additionally, and here's the kicker, Week 16 and 17 of the regular season, the Bills will play the Jets and the Patriots. Now, those are two teams who are absolutely going to make a bid for the playoffs. There is no way that Belichick or Ryan will put, the, will put their starters in for the bulk of those games. They want to keep them healthy for the playoffs. They're going to bench them. Neither of those teams is undefeated as of right now, so there's no reason. There's no records to break. Haney, on the other hand, is going to have to play Fitzpatrick. He's going to have to play him down to the ground. And that's why when you have Tom Brady sitting on the bench and you're a fantasy owner, or you have Tomlinson and you need someone to make up those fantasy points, you're going to put in Fitzpatrick and he's going to save your team, especially those, like my, my fantasy Super Bowl is in week 17. And a lot of people end up getting, a lot of people who have great records of the regular season get screwed because all of their starters are benched. Fitzpatrick. That's your safety, and that's why he's your fantasy football quarterback for the long haul. Do not drop him. Do not believe the hype. There you go. All right. Two for the show. Jacob Tammy. Tammy, Tammy. I'm not quite sure. I think it's Tammy. Um, of the Indianapolis Colts. Now, I vlogged about Dallas Clark and Austin Colley both being out with their individual injuries. Um, everyone is speculating as to who would see, who would be the beneficiary of Peyton Manning's laser rocket arm. Well, it looks like Jacob Tammy certainly did get a lot of those looks. He was targeted nine times. He had six catches for 64 yards and his first regular season pro touchdown. And that's always fun to watch unless you're a Texans fan, in which case it was gut-wrenching. But you should have been used to seeing Peyton Manning score by that point. Anyway, <laughs> um, um, so yeah, so I think Tammy, like, look, one game a trend does not make, but he certainly... Um, seems to be comfortable in developing a rapport with Manning. I definitely think he's worth a roster spot. Keep an eye on him um, and definitely follow that, follow and see what he's doing, especially with a lot of tight ends sort of ugh, like in disarray, injuries, blah, blah, blah. So Tammy's my two for the show. Three to let go, and let me be clear, this is not a let go as in like drop, get rid of him, he's done, blah, blah, blah. Donald Driver is out with a thigh injury, and he won't be back until week 11 against the Vikings. Now, I love Donald Driver, actually. Even though I'm a Bears fan and he's a Packer, he's 35 and still scoring touchdowns, and that is awesome. However, I think his age is catching up with him. Even though he's going to be back in week 11, we're not quite sure how productive he's going to be. You know, I imagine that he might be playing a little protectedly. He might be limited. That's where Jordy Nelson and James Jones come in. So I would advise picking them up, especially if you're a driver owner, and if you're not, scoop them up so that the driver owner can't, if you have room on that roster. Um, and they seem to be getting a lot more of the looks. You know, it's a younger team, it's growing, so I think that this is one of those passing of the torch type moments. Now again, don't drop driver, just see him until, well you're gonna have to until week 11, but you know, feel out that situation. So there you go, one for the money, two for the show, and three to let go. Hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I'll post a link to Start, Sit, and Extra, my segment with the fantasy football guys. And as always, break legs on Sunday.